what a start this is. Nice England top. That'd be good for the Euros or World Cup. And then, classic Adidas Tottenham. Okay, a few more bits I didn't get to show you. Starting off with this, it is 19.99, Dr. Evil, uh, made in the USA, which is really cool. Big old graphic, I shall call him Mini-Me. Um, Austin Powers tee, very cool. Little bit of embroidery on the back there as well. This was a pound, in fact, all of these are a quid. This is sick, super nice, uh, 90s Tiger Woods striped Nike polo. Very cool. Um, this one's sort of skatery. I guess box fresh. I don't know if it's a 90s or early 2000s brand. Looking at that tag, probably 90s, but really nice beige color with a little print. Um, never heard of the brand before, but should get maybe 15. And then just a quite nice striped Henry Lloyd one. I don't normally go for these because they just sit, but I thought the color on this was pretty good. So yeah. Very cool. Little Beavis and Butthead, 1995, dead stock. Right, well, we just finished an awful car boot, but we're in the bloody matrix here. We've got Petra here, and f***ing Petra's cousin, who's a little bit worse for wear. Um, Jesus Christ. All right, we've got a couple car boots worth of stuff here, some really good bits. Starting off with this, we've got a really nice 1995, brand new Beavers and Butthead MCVT. Unfortunately, it's had a bit of ink run at some point. I think it's got wet, maybe a bit damp. It is dead stock, but... To get that out i'm probably gonna have to undead stock it give it a bit of a vanish soak and hopefully the worst of that comes out um but we should be able to get maybe i don't know some of these do really well i'm looking for at least 50 and i'll be pretty happy with that that one i think was about three four quid which is pretty good going then we've just got an england tea which would be perfect for the world cup it's coming up next month um so yeah that'll probably be like 30 40 quid close to the time that was with this next one they were three quid in total Lovely Adidas Tottenham Spurs sweatshirt for, well, I don't know why I'm saying lovely and bloody Chelsea fan, but if you do like Spurs, it is a really nice one. Nice beige colorway and sort of green on the underarms there. Um, some of these can go for really good money. I've seen them go for like sort of 100 quid plus. And um, these I wish I picked up in summer. Just a nice pair of old school YSL swimming trunks. Just nice on that classic YSL tag just there. They were, I think, like three quid or something, the sign said. Um, so yeah, should get maybe 50 on those in the summer. These, I don't know what these are, they're like Nike Taekwondo pants. Um, but the waist on them is tiny, they're like a 26 waist. So yeah, really small, um, but should get maybe, I don't know, maybe like 20 quid, 25 on those. A um, couple pairs of jeans now, these ones are really nice. These are Zatannis, I don't know, Zatannis, I'm not sure. Anyway, they're in really good condition. Um, should be looking at about maybe, I think comps on these are good, they're like 35, 40 quid. Just a little bit of damage there, but I don't think that's too bad. Um, yeah, they were like two pound. And this is the last one, two pound again. Just a nice pair of animal spell out jeans. Even get all these from me, there's bloody loads here. I've been a uh, garment decorator since I left school. Oh, yeah, I work in life now. Oh, right, stream printed by trade, mate. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so that's my personal collection, pretty much. Oh, yeah. it. okay, fair <laughs> enough. So, there's going to be some few rare ones in there. Yeah, all right. Okay, awesome. Let's 
Fall, ja. I've got a few here, would you do a deal on them? Do you know how many I've picked up, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid. Sorry. There's a few more in there, yeah. I got some, so I got five that are fine, and these four I got quite a few marks. Yeah, those ones I'll just do them for like two quid or something. Two quid well. each, yeah. yeah so uh, not each, no, I'll do it just for two quid. I'll just, oh, okay, yeah, cheers, mate. Five each. Five each, yeah. okay. So um, and count how many there are. Yeah, yeah, there, there's five. I'll count them in front of you, but one, two, three, four, five. 27. Nah. Yeah, 27. Nice. Good job. Yeah, Cheers. Yeah, Thank you. And you. How much for your cardigan? That's 10 pounds. That's 10 pounds, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Not by me. <laughs> well, I was, was going to say, yeah. One of those Nepalese ones. Um, 10. Would you go seven? No, I just have no, I want ten. You want ten? No, no, it's fine. It's, yeah. You charge price, it's your item. <laughs> ten. Yeah, I'll take that for ten, that's fine. Oh, Ooh, very, very nice. Much. Thank Cheers. You. That's alright. I, I know, everyone, everyone's <laughs> on it at the moment. Okay, moving on to today's haul. Starting off with this, we've got this head TI S6 tennis racket. Anything in the TI range is always worth good money, as it is their sort of top of the line titanium range, as you can see just there. Um, that was eight pounds, should get maybe 50 to 60 pounds on that as it is with case, so that's a pretty good start. And you've just got a pair of simple Air Force Ones, UK size eight, so that's a good size. They were a little bit battered, but just a little bit clean, and you'll probably get maybe 35 to 40 on those. They were two pounds, especially with the cost of Air Forces nowadays, I think they're like 100 quid plus for a new pair. Okay, a few teas now, all of these came from the same person, it was 27 quid for the lot. Starting off, we got this year 2000 Fairport Convention tea. Um, one of these is currently up on eBay for over 100 quid, which seems astronomical. Get it? Astronomical? Look at all the stars. Um, yeah, I can't imagine it's going to go for anywhere near that. I'd be happy, probably with more £30-ish, because someone's randomly slapped a Coke sponsor on the front there. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, really cool back print on there, just all the bands and incredible string band. Yeah, that's on there. Um, so yeah, don't know. We'll get whatever we get for that. Then we got this, just on the old screeny. I just thought it was worth picking up for that alone. Just a nice old slogan tee, beware pickpockets and loose women. Good advice. Uh, but tees like this always tend to do well, especially when they've got a cool little back print on there as well. Love junk. I don't know what that is. If you do, drop it in the comments below. This one, someone actually tried to buy this off me as I was leaving. Um, so I think it's actually worth some good money. It is a UK subs tee from the Millennium Tour at 99. Again, on the old Sierra Tees tag. Such a good tee. Um, but yeah, this one, I think it's got a big slogan on the back as well. Yeah punk's not dead um so yeah i'm not quite sure what that will go for i had a quick look on ebay some of this stuff is going for really good money i'm not too sure i'll have a look um but yeah i'll post that somewhere there maybe um then we've got this lovely 99 rugby world cup tee lovely coke sponsor on the front there um i think it's 99 anyway yeah you can see um really nice crisp good condition and then on the back i don't <sighs> oh thumb what is that Someone's just put Homer with a red mohawk. Um, and it says Amstradivarius, which doesn't even mean anything. And then we've got a random Love Junk sponsor again. So it's like they've had a load of teas left over from whatever this is and just randomly printed stuff on it. But who cares? It's pretty cool. Um, maybe get 25 on that just because it's so weird. And we've got this really nice again. CRTs, good tag. Um, random devil with a load of kids around him. Bit of a dodgy one, that. Um, but yeah. This one, is, I think it's more of a women's one with the shape of it. A little bit of a v-neck there. So yeah, that'll probably be £20. Um, then we've got this, Joker, smoking a spliff. 
on the old fruit of the loom. I don't really know why I picked this up. It was covered in marks. He basically just gave this one to me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Weirdly, loads of weed stuff tends to do pretty well. Maybe get 15 to 20 on that. This one here, the Nuns. Uh, I've had a quick look. It's on screeny. I can't find this band anywhere. So I don't know if it was just a local band or something. It's got the... Um, what do you call that? Like printing notes on it still? I don't know. Maybe this was like a test batch production. Um, but yeah, maybe get 10 to 15 on that. This one here, again, random Budweiser tea, and someone's printed UK Subs Warhead logo on it. I don't know. But yeah, that's there. I can't imagine this will go for too much. Um, but yeah, it's still pretty cool. Maybe get 15 to 18, maybe 20 again on this. And then the last one is just this one. The Devil Rides Out. Just a cool, nice fade, sort of tie-dye on it. Um, and then join the Alliance on the back. And then the last two items we picked up from someone else. This one here is an old The Mountain Tea. I think it's dated 2004. Yeah. A um, couple of wolves on the front. Nothing too crazy. Might get maybe £15 on that, but that one was a quid. And this one here is a lovely pack of mama cardigan with hearts all over it. Always, always look out for that tag. It's worth really good money. I did pay up. It was £10, but you're looking at about 125 maybe even up to 150 all day, every day on these. So yeah, that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. If you can like and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.